If your iCloud is filled to the brim with pictures of kittens and puppies, or your Google Drive no longer has space for new memes or reaction pictures, watch this guide to learn how to automate your photo and video backups. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Image and use NordVPN's MeshNet to access it remotely. Image is an open-source, self-hosted photo and video backup solution. It has a wide range of features, including facial recognition, geotagging, raw file support, automatic backups, and many, many more. Setting up image with NordVPN's MeshNet takes this a step further. Usually, accessing self-hosted applications remotely requires, among other things, port forwarding and configuring firewall rules. These can introduce security risks and add unnecessary complexity. With MeshNet, however, your devices communicate over an encrypted Nordlinks tunnel, letting you access your image server from anywhere, just as if you were still connected to your home network. No open ports, no exposure to public internet, and no risk of unauthorized access. Before setting up Image, you'll need Docker and Docker Compose installed on your server. Docker allows you to run Image in an isolated environment, making the installation and maintenance much more straightforward. If you haven't installed Docker yet, head to the official Docker website and follow their installation guide for your operating system. Now, let's get Image up and running. I will set up Image on my Linux server, however, the steps for Windows-based systems are very similar. First, open your terminal. You'll want to create a dedicated directory for your image installation, so everything stays organized. Navigate to the folder where you want to store your image files and create a new directory. Next, you need to download the necessary configuration files. Image provides a Docker Compose file and an environment file that define how the service will run. Instead of setting up everything manually, these files will automatically pull all the required components. Run the following commands to download the necessary files from the official image repository. After downloading, you can check if the files are in place by listing the directory contents. You should see both docker compose.yaml and .env files listed in the directory. Open the environment file with a text editor of your choice and make sure to set up the upload underscore location parameter to the directory where your photos and videos will be stored. Ideally, you want to keep the path without spaces. Otherwise, enclose directory names with single quotation marks. Next, adjust the time zone setting to match yours. Now that everything is configured, you can start the image by running. This command will pull the required Docker images and start image in the background. After a few moments, your image server should be up and running. You can test it by going to your web browser and entering your server's local IP address, followed by colon 2283. Now is a good time to create an admin account. At this point, you have image running on your server, but if you want to access it remotely, you'll need MeshNet. First, install the NordVPN app on both your server where your image is running and any device you want to use for remote access. MeshNet is included in the NordVPN app, and you don't even need an active NordVPN subscription to use it. Once NordVPN is installed, log in to your account and enable MeshNet. When MeshNet is active, it creates a private encrypted connection between your devices. This means your phone, laptop, or any other device can directly access your image server as if they were on the same local network. Now that NordVPN is installed and MeshNet is enabled on at least two devices, let's set up the permissions. On your server, which hosts image, you'll need to give the remote device local network access permission. This is due to how MeshNet treats Docker networks. Once that's done, on your remote device, open a web browser and simply enter the MeshNet IP address of your image server, followed by the port number. For example, if your server's MeshNet IP address is this, you would enter http colon slash slash meshnet ip followed by colon 2283. You should now see the image interface just as if you were at home. You can browse, upload, and manage your photos and videos securely no matter where you are in the world. Image has dedicated mobile apps available for both iOS and Android-based devices. The most notable feature of these apps is background backup. 
This means that you can have image tirelessly upload your pictures and videos in the background while you take care of other things. I'll cover setting up automatic backups on iOS. To do that, install the app and log into your account. Once logged in, go to your profile in the top right corner, then settings and backup. Here, you can manage your backup settings. Once configured, head back to the main menu of image and click the cloud icon in the top right corner. Finally, select the albums you want to backup and click start backup. And the last thing, go to your phone settings, general background app refresh and make sure it's enabled for image. By combining image with NordVPN's MeshNet, you now have a fast, secure and a private way to backup and access your photos and videos from anywhere in the world. No port forwarding, no firewall headaches, no complicated configurations. Just seamless encrypted access to your self-hosted media. Go ahead and give it a try. Install image, enable MeshNet and enjoy remote access to your media library securely and effortlessly. And that's it for the video. If you liked it, be sure to let me know in the comments and subscribe for more.